Hello there. Plenty to talk about across the globe. We're going to start off in North America, where we have seen some recent stormy weather, but conditions are quietening down. However, at the same time, they are warming up, particularly in the desert southwest. Areas like Las Vegas and Phoenix, Arizona, could see temperatures well above the average, more akin to August rather than early May. And if we zoom in and look at the warm russet starting to develop through the heat of the day, we could see temperatures in excess of 38 Celsius, 100 Fahrenheit, and that could exacerbate the risk of wildfires in the area. There is a lot of quiet weather and it's a little more comfortable, a little more refreshing along the west coast. We're going to see a few scattered showers through the central plains to the west of the Great Lakes and maybe some rain just easing away from the east coast. But the heat, quite widespread generally across North America, mid-30s into parts of Texas, mid-20s across the east coast. And certainly an improving picture, a drier story. We have seen some stormy weather just recently across the east. And as you can see from the city forecast, a good deal of dry weather in the offing for New York over the next few days. Dallas keeps those temperatures into the mid-30s until the end of the week. We've seen some stormy weather, though, just recently across the Caribbean. Weather warnings remain in force, some very heavy rain and some thunderstorms possibly, and that could lead to some uh, local flash flooding and also some landslides. If we take a look, the worst affected areas look likely to continue to be Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Now, we have seen some pretty relentless showers over the last few days, and it looks likely to, that those showers are set to continue. Don't forget the bright and vibrant colours denoting the intensity of that rain also stretches up towards the islands of Turks and Caicos as well. So in terms of the feel of things, it is going to be pretty disappointing there. Now into Europe, we saw some floods in Turkey in Ankara at the weekend. It looks as though we're going to see widespread thundery downpours across much of uh, the Mediterranean over the next few days, which could lead to the possibility of uh, some flash flooding again. Here's Turkey across towards mainland Greece, widespread sharp showers likely, the same too for the Balkans and for Italy. It's been pretty warm there in recent weeks and even the French Riviera and Spain not immune to these showers either. By contrast, Across the UK, into France and Germany, we've seen some lovely warmth with the southeasterly breeze and that heat still set to continue temperatures into the high 20s, way above the average for this time of year. As for the UK, though, things are set to change. It has been a beautiful bank holiday weekend, but it does look as though as we go through the week, conditions will cool down with some rain at times, but also some sunshine. More details on that coming up in half an hour's time.